Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I am going to define the column fibers with the help of section designer, which is a built-in program in SAP, and assign that defined uh, column fiber in this perform 3D model for the column. So without any delay, let me start uh, about the size of the column to be defined in section designer. Yeah, this is the column I want to assign for this model. The size of the column is 300 by 300 mm with 8 numbers of 16 mm die of wire uh, as a longitudinal river and the lateral ties of 8 mm at the rate of 100 uh, mm center to center. So uh, these uh, things can be defined in SAP. So the concrete grade is M20. Uh, in Perform 3D, I have defined the concrete grade as M20 and the reinforcement bar is FE500 so let me go to the SAP for the fiber definition for this column cross section so here to define in, in define here is already assigned M20 concrete and this is the M20 concrete and the steel bar is HSYD500 after that after the material definition uh, go to section properties frame section then click to add new properties here we can see the section designer tab let me click this the section name is column let me say 300 into 300 mm the base material for the column is m20 concrete it's a concrete column uh, this is a uh, reinforcement to be checked or reinforcement to be designed either of the option is okay for now so let me click to section designer so here in the section designer go to define tab sorry draw tab we can draw the any type of shape from here for now i can choose this shortcut tool draw the default section right click this section to edit as for our requirement okay then it's m20 grade size is 300 by 300 and click reinforcing as yes then go to mender confine for the mender confine the confinement bar is lateral ties is 8 mm the bar area is 50.3 spacing of 100 mm the red center to center let me click ok so let me edit this reinforcement bar ok let me click this the vertical reinforcement bar for the column is 16 mm diameter and the clear cover is 40 mm apply to all is okay and click on corner bar change into 16 d apply to all kernel then it's okay so for the fiber definition we have to define the number of fiber in x axis and in y axis so if we assign the fiber number as 3 for both the direction we can get 25 numbers of fiber 8 for the steel fiber 8 are the steel fibers and remaining 17 are the column fiber so so let me check these fibers okay there are 25 numbers of fiber uh, 8 for the reinforcement fiber these are the fiber for uh, river there are eight numbers of fiber and from uh, number nine these are the concrete fiber which is confined and unconfined concrete the nine is confined concrete and this one is unconfined concrete similarly confined and unconfined concrete but here in 17 number it's a confined concrete for the central core and for 18 also it's confined then 19 it's unconfined so let me copy this uh, value into Excel for now. Let me click this. 
okay then uh, for serial number 1 to 8 the uh, fiber are reinforcement fiber and for 9 to 25 it's a column fiber sorry concrete fiber for confined and unconfined and let me uh, define or let me click or check for confined and unconfined fiber find fiber find fiber Okay, the confined and unconfined fiber are separated here and these values are to be assigned in the perform 3D model. Okay, let me go to the perform 3D. Here for the definition of fiber, let me check the component properties for perform 3D. Before defining the fiber, we have to assign the column section as elastic element. Uh, if we go, if we go to the column fiber, then the column fiber can be assigned like this this is the column with the inelastic fiber section element for top and bottom and in intermediate zone there is a linear elastic frame element and the fibers are named as top fiber and bottom fiber and the length of the fiber is given by a different uh, researcher here i picked uh, Fowley and Frischle the plastic is length they calculated this uh, this formula and for my section and with the uh this in this model the length of the plastic inch is 416 mm so let me assign this value uh, in perform 3d but before that we have to uh, assign the fiber which was generated in chaff in uh, perform 3d as column fiber in elastic element so without any delay let me go to the perform 3d here let me go to column cross section first of all we have to introduce the column as elastic element column elastic okay the size is 300 by 300 mm let me calculate the values and uh, if we input the size of the column and click on calculator all the properties sectional properties are often here with the program itself and let me put m modulus of elasticity as 2549.1 for concrete poison ratio 0.2 and check this button the shear modulus is 10623 with the formula okay uh, after defining the column as elastic material we have to go for the column in elastic fiber section here column in elastic fiber section so i define column elastic fiber as column in elastic fiber let me click ok here structural fiber to be added uh, means we have to add the steel fiber and we have to uh, add the concrete fiber for confined concrete and unconfined concrete separately so the uh, axis for the fiber is uh, this one is axis 2 and this one is axis 3 so let me uh, add the concrete sorry steel fiber first then the steel fiber is fe 500 which is already defined in the material tab so in here looking at the excel the area of the steel is 201 and the coordinates uh, along the direction both directions are 102 it means 201 102 is also 102 okay then another one is 201 minus 102 area is same okay the third one is both minus the fourth one is this and fifth one is 0 102 0 102 sorry 0 102 
the sixth one is minus hundred to zero minus hundred to zero the seventh one is zero minus hundred to zero minus hundred to the eighth one is hundred to zero hundred to zero with the same reinforcement area okay let me add these are the steel fiber uh, i read in perform 3d and for the concrete let me change as a concrete 1d material in elastic so i am 20 confined and this one is the area this one is the area this one is the coordinate along axis two, along two axis and this one is the coordinate for the along x three okay let me click add and again another tenth is five nine zero four five nine zero four this one this one this one Okay, let me add similarly all the confined concrete fibers and unconfined concrete fibers have been assigned here and here if we see in the section properties the assigned concrete fiber area and the steel fiber area is here and the inertia about axis 2 and axis 3 is mentioned here and the coordinates along the centroidal uh, two axis and along the three axis should be zero. So if we check here the coordinate, the resultant coordinate should be zero. Likewise, in coordinate three, the resultant coordinate should be zero. So, so if these coordinate become zero, the fiber assignment or the defining fiber may be correct. Uh, it, it tends to be correct. So after this uh, structural fiber, let me go to the capacities and for now we have to uh, Let me uh, click uh, Nothing here uh, We can put the values Capacitive values of bending bending for level 1 to 5 for strain capacities also same Then for the shear and torsion and these uh, sectional properties we have copied from the elastic cross sections and this uh, torsional area and the shear modulus also we have copied from elastic cross section and for the properties the size of the column is 300 and uh, 300 by 300 so by this the structural fiber can be assigned uh, can be defined in perform 3d after that to complete to assign the fibers in our model we have to uh, define the column member like this in bottom and top there should be a inelastic fiber element and in the intermediate zone there should be a, elastic, a linear elastic element so for this we have to compound the element in perform 3d so let me go to compound so let me click on new column column compound okay then for the column compound we have to check for the component type the first of all we have to go for column in elastic fiber section then the length is we have already calculated 416 mm then 8 and next one is column reinforcement rc section reinforcement concrete section the size of the column is 300 by 300 a proportion of one assigned length should be one let me click ok then again go for column in elastic fiber it is the actual length the length of the column is 400 by 400 and another thing the length of the end zone here there is a end zone for the beam or column it depends 
upon the type of modeling if we follow the AC uh, uh, 716 uh, loading parameter uh, loading uh, case we have to assign for the engine for beam and column so it depends upon the type of the design or analysis so this is choice uh, for us to either to insert the engine if we insert the engine we can add like this so it's a choice uh, for modeling or uh, leave as it is so uh, this is the column compound So this is the column compound for 300 uh, column at the intermediate zone and the column fiber at the top and column fiber at the bottom. So if we go to the other tab, for example, the self weight. So we have to put the self weight for the column for our column section. The size is 300 by 300 mm and while calculating we got 2.25 kilo newton per meter or 2.25 newton per mm so let me check okay if we if we click this this one is the fiber elastic fiber and this l1 is the elastic uh, section and again this one is the elastic fiber so if we assign the engine the engine also comes at the end so let me save then after this we have to assign the column properties in the frame section so here let me go to the column yeah this one is the column let me click this click this uh, type of the compound component is frame member compound component then assign frame member the column we have just defined column compound then assign similarly go for next column select it assign frame column compound assign this way all the column member can be assigned with the properties of the column column uh, for in elastic fiber section either it's a hinge or it's a fiber in this model i have uh, modeled the column each and every column as a separate group so we need to assign the separate column fiber if we have the one group for all the column then we can assign all the column compound uh, once at a time so for example for the beam also same uh, type of modeling is done here because uh, i want to see the energy dissipation of this structure so for the energy dissipation of individual column or individual beam or individual hinge it may be useful to model the structure like this making as an individual group for either beam or column or if we have a stairwell or if we have a coupling beam we have to uh, assign we have to define as a separate element so that it can be easy for us it can be easily visible about the energy dissipation of the structure and uh, as well as the deformation local deformation of the structural element so in the next video we will go for the assignment of moment rotation inch for the column uh, sorry for the beams uh, orientation for the columns and beams and uh, also why the fiber hinge is assigned to column and why uh, is assigning to column and the moment is assigned to beam so uh, if for that we have to uh, wait for the next video till then stay safe uh, be happy and keep subscribing my youtube channel thank you bye bye